Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm out exploring um, along an old road um, and I just stumbled upon a dump. It actually looks pretty decent. There's some old, actually quite a few old shards. Oh, that glass is turning purple. Wish that was complete. Um, uh, that's turning purple as well. It's machine made. That loud sound right there is the railroad. Um, so if you hear that, it's not like a car or something. Just so you know. Oh, this looks like it's off of an old beer. Also turning purple. That might have actually been... Oh, wait, no, that... Hold on. It's part of an old Kearns bottle. Might have been a blob. Um, alright. What else? Mm. Come here. Uh, that doesn't look like much. That's part of a Kearns bottle. Ooh, that's an applied top bottle. That's nice. Um, the first thing I spotted was this little med here. And this is turning uh, purple. So I'm definitely keeping that even though it's cracked. It's really nice. I just spotted another one right here. Hello. Oh man, that one's nice. Um, let me clean this off a bit. Uh, it's unembossed, there's a big ding. Oh, where is it? Right there. Ow, mosquitoes. Um, I don't know what type of top that is. I think it's machine made, but it's turning purple for sure. A really nice color. All right, guys. Um, so far in this tiny little thing, we've got probably what is a shoe polish and a med, both turning purple. So this might be a really good spot. All right, I'll be back with the next one. All right, quick update. Um, it's been like half a minute. I noticed that there's actually glass going all the way back here, which is a really good sign. And one of the bottles, this one here. I discovered had a huge ant's nest in it. I also discovered I forgot my bug spray and there's a creek just over that hill. It was really stagnant, so I'm gonna get eaten alive here. Um, but you know what? It's worth it. This dump looks really nice. All right, I'll be back with the next one. I just found a really nice horseshoe. And right next to this horseshoe, let me just put this in my bag real quick. That. Right near it is a bottle. Um, doesn't look uh, very big. Where's my trowel? There it is. Let's pop it out for you. Here it comes. Hopefully it's good. Oh. Well, that's a nice little one. Hold on. Let me shake it out a bit. Um, it's going to turn purple for sure. Ooh, it has embossing. Oh, wow, that's nice. Hold on, let me clean this off for you a bit. It says, Holes, Car, Medicine. On the one side, there's a little crack on the back. Um, it's machine made. Um, but it's embossed and it will turn purple, so that's a really nice one. Alright, I'll be back with the next find. Alright, after weeding my way through here, I figured out this dump goes all around here. And it's not just in that one spot. Um, the only complete thing I found over here is this machine-made amber screw top. Can't really see it well from up here, but it's trash. And a cool plow point. 
I won't carry that out here though of here though. Um I just I'm gonna clear this out for you a bit. Ow. Um I just spotted another bottle. Uh, let's pull it out together. It's hard to do it one-handed and left-handed at that. Alright. Come on. Let's see, what are you? Ooh. Oh, it's machine made. It is a sauce bottle. Pork tart sauce bottle. I'm not gonna keep it though. There you go. It's kind of cool, but it's not worth hauling out of here. All right, I'll be back with the next one. All right, um, I just started digging out this little spot here, and it turns out the dump goes deeper than the surface, which I was not expecting. Um, and the first thing I found was, oh, a little belt buckle. It had some of the leather on it, but the leather fell off, unfortunately. Um, but that's pretty promising. All right, I'll be back with the next one. All right, I just popped out this beautiful, ornate piece of copper. Um, it's all bent up, so I don't really know what it is. Um, it has, like, poppy plants on it. <laughs> Sorry, mosquito. Um, so, that's definitely a keeper. There's other different pieces of random things popping out of here, so hopefully I can find some nice bottles. Or if no bottles, then, you know, I don't mind finding more interesting metal items. All right, I'll be back with the next find. All right, everyone, I'm packing up and heading on to search for more stuff. The dump is just over there. And I know there's more stuff here because over here there's a bunch of pieces of pottery and this which would have been a really nice blob probably um alright um if I don't find anything this is going to be the end of the video or I'll have the wrap up if not then I'll find something else and I'll catch that in the video alright I'll be back with the next time I didn't have to go very fine, uh, far to find another dump in fact, not very far at all. The original dump is literally just over this little ravine here. Um, oh, sorry, that looks, oh no, that's probably broken, yeah. Um, this dump is much more modern, so I doubt I'm gonna find anything as good. But, I do see a milk lying on the surface. Ooh, Vicks, vapor rub. I'm not gonna keep that though. Um, it's just over here. Oh, it's a square milk. Probably won't be embossed. Um, no, no embossing. It's incredible it's still complete because it's lying on the surface. Never mind though. Oh, there's another milk right there. Alright. Sorry, I'm just gonna, you know, pick up anything that looks fairly interesting. All right, uh, is, yeah, just, oh, this one's broken too. As you can see, there's a big break in the side. All right, I'll be back if I find anything. All right, I'm back home and I have everything cleaned up here. Um, so I got three bottles and a couple of metal pieces. Um, so it, it was a fairly small dump uh, after the fact i went back home and i did some research and i was able to narrow down this dump to just two houses where this stuff could have come from which is pretty cool um i got the one embossed med bottle which is the hal's karth medicine um i haven't done much research on that but it's still pretty cool uh, except for the fact that it's damaged um, I got the, um, med that's turning purple with the, uh, measure marks, uh, just like the other ones, it has damage, except this one is much more substantial. As you can hopefully see, it's definitely going to turn purple, or at least a deeper purple, so 
That's a really nice one. And then uh, the shoe polish bottle, or at least I think it's a shoe polish bottle I got. Uh, it has a lot of dings. Um, it's machine made, but it's a pretty deep purple in some spots. Uh, half of it is more purple than the other half. You might be able to kind of see it there, maybe. Um, but that's just because it's uh, half of it was exposed to sunlight for who knows, maybe the past 40, 50 years. Um, then I got the metal objects. I got the little belt buckle, which was nice. I got the horseshoe. Um, it's pretty rusted up, but you know. I always keep horseshoes because they're pretty cool. And I got the awesome piece of copper. Um, it has the poppy f uh, flowers on it. Um, I have no idea what it would have come off. Uh, as you can see, I kind of unbent it a bit. Um, it's a pretty nice piece, uh, so I'm definitely going to keep that. Alright, that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.